G'day guys, welcome back to the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. Byron Leftwich has possibly been fired. However, I can't run with that today. The theme is not talking about is there a chance the Steelers go and get Byron Leftwich. The theme is talking about Matt Canada. Unbelievable guys, I found it this morning. And you guys already know the breaking news. Matt Canada will continue to be the OC in 23. That's it. That's that's what we know. But are we really surprised? Are you really are you really shocked? I'm not that shocked to be honest. We go through these things. We understand that he didn't he hasn't called a good first half of the year in 2022. The second half was better. 7 and 2, time possession increased. The points didn't increase. The running game got better. There are some positives with this MC system. And I'm kind of sick of saying his name. I really am kind of sick of saying his name. Matt Canada, Matt Canada, Matt Canada. Really sick of saying his name. Anyways, all I hope is that in 2023 that they can improve on what they were building upon. Look, time possession is great. They were ranked fifth in the NFL at time possession, about 31 minutes. At the start of the year, they were ranked like dead last and they were about 24 minutes. So they're holding the ball longer. They're running the ball. They're moving the ball up the field. However, they're not getting into the red zone and scoring TDs. Matt Canada, his offense in his points got worse in 2021 was 20 points uh, per per season average, right? Sorry, per game. And in 2022, it's 17. It got worse. So I understand there are a lot of fans out there that want to say fire him. And I respect that. I understand there are a lot of fans out there saying, you know what, give him a chance. Let's see what can happen. I am now right in the middle. I'm right in the middle. I'm a very forgiving person. I won't go back what I said. All the other videos, you can go back. Every single thumbnail is fire this, fire that. I won't go back and take my words back. But what I will do is give the guy a chance. Here's a, here's, here's a start right now. We can give MC uh, Canada a chance. We can. They did improve. They improved on the run game. They improved um, in time possession. His play calling wasn't uh, as egregious or annoying or, or, or stupid moments. There were some good moments where Connor Haywood ran away for a, for a, a first down and, and won the game. They used Derek Watt in the end zone to get a, to get a TD, right, in the Browns game. There were some good positive things. And with a young, young rookie and Kenny Pickett and George Pickens, they did try to find him the ball near the end. So I won't hold my grudge forever because if you hold your grudge forever, it's a bit unhealthy. But if you guys still want to fire him the whole time, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to give the guy a chance. However, there's one thing. If this offense doesn't improve, right, and we go 9-8, and eight, 10 and 7 again, if it doesn't improve in terms of scoring points, like that's the main thing. It doesn't matter how many yards you go. It doesn't matter how many you know first downs you can complete. It doesn't matter how many times you get to the red zone. If this offense can't score points, right? If they can't score points, then it all it's all for nothing. So that's my biggest factor. If this offense can't improve and get the ball down the field to score actual touchdowns and get receivers, you know, uh, designing plays to get them open, designing plays to get Najee open, to get Muth open, to get George Pickens the ball, to get CA3 the ball. Matt Canada now has a whole off season. I know we had one before. He's got a whole off season. Here's the positives. He knows who his quarterback's going to be. He knows it's going to be Pickens. He knows he has a receiver in number one in George Pickens. He knows that DJ is going to be there. He knows that CA3 is coming back. He knows that Muth and Haywood will be there. He knows he's got a competent one-two running back set in Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. He knows all these things, right? He knows all these things. So there are no excuses anymore. There are none. There are no excuses saying, well, Big Ben slowed him down or he was changing changing quarterbacks. He had to change systems. None. Absolutely none. You need to improve in 2023 more than 17 points per game. That's the biggest factor. As much as I am hopeful for this team and there is a bright future, at the same time, if you if you're scoring 17 a game, then you won't be able you won't beat the Bills. You won't beat the Eagles. You won't beat the high tier teams. Shoot, Cowboys, Bengals, 
those teams, you won't beat them. You just won't. You, 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 you can't beat them alone on defense, the Chiefs. It won't happen. You need to score around at least, at least 24, 25 points a game. Around the 24 mark, 25 points a game. Put pressure on the on the on their offense. Hold them below 21, below 23, and you've got yourself a game. You've got a chance to go 31, 24, or something like that. You got yourself a game. Those are my biggest takeaways. Anyways, guys, that's the breaking news for Matt Canada. Uh, we all knew it. Let's be honest. We all we all knew he was gonna be was gonna be OC. There's no real surprise in that notion. Uh, we were just hoping for a different result. But now we can move forward. We understand he's gonna be OC. Let's look to the draft. Let's look at uh, free agent and let's see what happens, right? Give We have to give the guy another chance. They did get better down the stretch, but in 2023, there's no more excuses. You have your team. You know your players. You've got, what, nine months to design schemes and stuff like that? And if I had nine months to do anything, I could, I could conquer so much. With so much time, that's your job, Matt Canada. Go and create a game plan for the rest of the year or whatever or a system and build around your players that you have. Use the players that you have. Don't make any excuses or this guy can't keep up with a playbook. No, it's on the coach. To me, most of this is on the coach. All right, guys, I'll see you later.